What up, you tubey? Denny in Saigon. Thanks for watching my video. Uh, my name's Denny. I'm an American. I live in Ho Chi Minh City, Vietnam. Which means I'm on the other side of the planet. Uh, south of China. North of the Philippines, a little bit. Over here in Southeast Asia. Watch what I'm doing here. A cord on the wall. It's a cable or something. Uh, yeah, it's another nice day here. Beautiful day. Beautiful people. Beautiful place to be. Traffic isn't so beautiful, but you gotta deal with it. It's a big city. A lot of people live in this city. Uh, I'm on my way back to school. I have an afternoon shift of two and a half hours where I'm teaching little kids. We little kids, which I don't really like as much as uh, the language center that I teach at tonight. A lot of traffic and uh, it's coming from all directions, so I want to show you a lot of stuff, but I got to keep my eyes on the road. And I gotta go kind of slow. Uh, it is a dangerous place to drive, and I do see lots of accidents. And you've never seen my videos before. Sometimes uh, I see dead people on the roads, or uh, injured and maimed people. Sometimes I catch an accident. Never know what we'll see. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I have a cold again. That's uh. I guess that's the price you pay for uh, teaching little kids. <laughs> little booger blowers. Little snot monsters. And uh, they all, they're all blowing snot. My little kids and my preschool, man, they're... They got these little flashcards and they pass them around and then they're, they're licking them and kissing them and, and then they're sneezing all over the place. And I kiss their colds because I got to high five them and they touch me a lot. <laughs> You have that in the, uh, especially in the preschools. Little, little kids touch you a lot. Got one little girl, man. She pokes me right in the nads every time she sees me, too. She's a cute little thing, but I know to protect myself. I got my books. It's my shield. I'm saving that for later. Yeah, my friend Kim, she just had a baby. Congratulations, Kim. That was last week, and my uh, my daughter had a baby a few months ago, and I've, I've seen pictures of... Today's my daughter's birthday, actually, my youngest daughter. I've seen pictures of uh, my, my youngest grandbaby. I have two grandsons. And, uh, they look pretty, pretty healthy, pretty happy. I need to get home and see him. I have a really nice life here. You can just barely see uh, Landmark 81 in the distance there. I don't know if you can see it on the phone or not. I can see it. It's a little hazy. Not too hot today, but it's uh, it's definitely not cold. It's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Not too many clouds in the sky. No Kim trailing. They don't spray here. Which I like, because they do spray back in Indiana. I was looking at my pictures last night from uh, Google Photos. I saved photos forever. And, uh, of course, that's what, one thing I was looking at home, and I was missing home a lot. And, but then I saw the skies are all filled with whatever. Contrails, came trails. What, whatever. I don't want to debate it with you. I don't like to see it. <laughs> I know what's going on more than most people. Probably. More than a lot of people care to know, so people don't look stuff up. Or they don't read. Now they want to censor everything, hide it from you. They don't want you to read it or see it or know about it. See the food? The seafood? All kind of seafood. I don't like seafood so much. Except for shrimp. I do like shrimp. If you come to Vietnam, you gotta try shrimp cooked in beer. 
because it is pretty tasty. They'll bring it out a little stove and put it on the table and they put the shrimp on there and, and cook it. Uh, usually, a lot of times in Vietnam, you cook on the table. One of the popular dishes they like to do here is a hot pot. I don't know what's all in a hot pot, but a lot of stuff. I guess whatever you want, you throw in a hot pot and they, they share it, basically. Went out with three ladies one time and I thought we were gonna like order meals and stuff, but we, we all ordered together. And we had a hot pot and there was uh, there was tentacles in there and all kinds of stuff. <laughs> Chicken necks and octopus tentacles and <laughs> I don't know. Fish nads, something. This is the restaurant area too, and there's a lot of nice. Uh, so you check out the fish. See the big tanks they got set up. Fish, big fish in there too. I don't know what they got in there. I should take a closer look. There's another one just like it. Different place, but almost the same. Fresh fruits and vegetables, a lot of fresh stuff. Get fresh everything here. Fresh meat. Somewhere here. Close by. Fresh uh, onions, little onions. And smoothies are kind of a big thing here too, so it's kind of cool. I do like smoothies a lot. Fruit smoothies. Uh, I don't have them often. I often have coffee instead. <laughs> I'm not that big into fruit, but I do like the smoothies. Yeah, I'm now in Go... As Americans would say, Go Vap. <laughs> but it's, uh, they say Go Vap. Something like that. It's uh, G-O-V-A-P. Go Vap. That's where I'm at. I'm on Bam Van Chew. I'm headed back to my school here. It's not very far from my hotel. I have uh, have Thursday and Friday off somehow. So uh, I'm going to cut out of District 12 and take off to District 1 again. I enjoy hanging out over there. Bus right behind me. You can just be right in front of me. Yeah, so they gave me books, right? They gave me books at my school, my little preschool. They're so, they can be so disorganized here. And so, uh, I don't know, it's just crazy sometimes. Uh, the, you know, I take the books to the class and of course they don't have the audios. Books are basically useless without the audios. The teachers in the class don't know what's going on. A lot of times the teachers in the class may, may, or not, may not speak English, you know, too well, enough to communicate with me. I don't know, the teachers and the teacher's assistants, there's a lot of people in there, right? It's preschool. Not everybody speaks English, and uh, so I'm trying to deal with this. I'm okay, we need the audio, because you can't just... <laughs> I don't know what what's going on in the books, or, uh, you know, it's just like four words. Then they got a syllabus, you know, syllabus is eight pages long, and, and I'm only teaching them four words. Uh, got all kinds of stuff highlighted, this and that, and got to figure it all out. <laughs> teach four words and uh, I mean it's not too bad it's uh, they're not they're not too demanding but some places are some places are very demanding about their syllabus about their s the schedule and the course outline and all this is you got to follow it exactly I try to do the best I can I improvise a lot today I'm teaching you know teaching four emotions, you know, happy, sad, uh, angry, and scared. It's not too difficult. Probably even draw it. You know, I can't draw very well. I got uh, little whiteboards I carry with me. It's very handy as a teacher here. If you carry little whiteboards and markers, you can uh, turn that into a lot of entertainment for a bunch of kids. You can make games. Usually uh, in the older classes, we play stop we uh, make teams. And then I also have a bunch of slides I made and I put online, put up in the cloud so that I can uh, 
And there's a lot of them too, but probably a thousand of them. I made my own flashcards basically. I can access them from online and uh, because a lot of times if I don't have materials, I, I just pull that out and I can show them all kinds of stuff. Animals and foods and colors. And I still got to do more. It's a lot of work to make those slides because I make so many, but I still got to do occupations and uh, activities and a few, a few more things. Check out this park over here. They have little electric cars and stuff that they ride sometimes in here. Uh, like, uh, feels like I need air in my back tire again. Luckily, you can ride a motorbike for pretty, pretty long ways with uh, no air in your tires. Nice park. Quiet, peaceful park. Vietnam is a nice place. I really, really like Vietnam. And I like these people a lot. They are very good people. And they are lovers of their children. They love their kids. So I, lo I love them because they love their kids. Also, they have a lot of hot girls. Probably didn't mention that. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty laid back coffee shop up here on the left uh, just got me coffee I think iced coffee anyways I'm Denny thanks for watching my video like and subscribe if you want I'll try to find an accident to record next time have a nice day